It is Friday, and that means, Walt, you have another story for us that is focused on Mississippi, and this is an update, I understand, to an ongoing project. Yeah, we've done a couple of stories about this already. It started way back in January when Brett McAlpin came across the old school bus that his grandmother rode to school back in the 1920s. It was in a barn in Smith County, and that's where the saga began. Someone parked the old Model T Ford school bus under the shed 90 years ago. It's not been ridden in since then, and he's been cranked for 90 years. This school bus is the bus my mother rode to school in in probably 1926, 27, 28. She would have been 13, 14, 15 years old. It was Jack McAlpin's son, Brett, who was most anxious to get this thing going. It was Brett's grandmother who rode the bus. Brett enlisted a bunch of his friends and his old high school chemistry teacher from Mendenhall, Kirk Hill, to help out. Kirk's longtime hobby has been restoration of Model T's. And in our first story, we saw the mechanical miracle happen. After 90 years of idleness, some reworking here and there, and some liberal doses of Marvel Miracle Oil in the cylinders, they actually got the engine to run. Next, they towed it out of the woods and then trailered it to Kirk's shop in his backyard. And then the slow months ensued. Months of tinkering and tightening and pulling the motor out and pulling it apart and finding parts and installing them and then actually honing them clean and smooth and putting things back together again. This project's turned out to be quite a project, more than I thought to start with. Well, the old bus may look in disarray, but to the trained eye and the optimistic heart, you can see the finish line. We're in the final stages. You see the engine here, it's, Kirk said it's beautiful. <laughs> it looks like an old engine to me. <laughs> but he knows something about T-models that I don't. And we've got the old bus behind me here. We won't have this thing out here running for long. Well, there'll be at least one more installment to the story, maybe two, actually. The next one will be when we get to take a ride in the old bus, and then after that, Kirk Hill will turn the restoration project over to Brett McAlpin to make it look like new again. I, I know what you mean about, you know, you get into something, and that's where the term biting off more than you can chew came from. I think the major factor in getting through any tough project, though, is determination. Even if you have to put it down for a few days, come back, get a fresh start, don't stop until there's nothing left to do. Oh, my <laughs> tells me that all the time. Don't stop. You're not through yet. <laughs> so, that's a good project. I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, the finished project. I don't know I what that's going to be. I think we can talk them into letting us all take a ride in it. Yeah, there we go. They should put that on display for everyone to see there when they get it done. All right. Thanks, Walt.